Beetlejuice. The dying giant preparing for a celestial finale hovering like a red jewel on the shoulder of the constellation Orion. The star Beetlejuice has long fascinated astronomers and casual skywatchers alike. In recent years, however, this celestial giant has become the center of intense scientific curiosity and public speculation due to its increasingly strange and unpredictable behavior. Some believe we may be witnessing the last breaths of this massive star as it prepares to explode in a supernova. A cosmic event so spectacular it could outshine an entire galaxy. But is Betelgeuse really about to go supernova? Or is this just another phase in the unpredictable life of a red supergiant? Join Wave's discovery as we delve into the science, the mystery, and the sheer wonder of this luminous star, and explore why the whole world is watching Betelgeuse more closely than ever before. A colossal beacon in the sky to understand the excitement, we first need to grasp just how immense Betelgeuse truly is. Located approximately 650 light years away from Earth, Betelgeuse is one of the largest and most luminous stars that can be seen with the naked eye. Classified as a red supergiant, Betelgeuse dwarfs our own sun in both size and brightness. If it were placed at the center of our solar system, its surface would extend beyond the orbit of Mars, engulfing Mercury, Venus, Earth, and possibly Jupiter's orbit as well. Its name, derived from Arabic and roughly meaning, the Hand of Orion, perfectly reflects its position in the sky, resting on the upper left shoulder of the Orion constellation. Appearing as a reddish dot to the casual observer, Betelgeuse is far from ordinary. Its brightness can fluctuate significantly, sometimes making it one of the top 10 brightest stars in the sky. But Betelgeuse is more than a cosmic marvel, it's a living laboratory. Its relatively close distance and sheer size give scientists an unprecedented opportunity to study a massive star approaching the final stages of its life. Few stars in the universe offer this kind of front-row access to stellar death. The great dimming and what it meant between late 2019 and early 2020, Betelgeuse did something unexpected. It began to dim. Not just a little, a lot. The star's brightness dropped so dramatically that it became noticeably fainter to the naked eye. Scientists quickly dubbed this event, the great dimming, and it launched a wave of speculation around the world. Was Betelgeuse about to go supernova? The idea was both thrilling and terrifying. A supernova from a star as close as Betelgeuse would be visible even during the day and would shine as brightly as a full moon at night. Some even suggested that it could briefly outshine the entire Milky Way galaxy. Yet, as scientists began collecting data, the mystery deepened. Eventually, researchers determined that the dimming was likely caused by a massive ejection of material from Betelgeuse's surface. This material cooled and formed a cloud of dust that temporarily blocked the star's light from our view. In essence, Betelgeuse sneezed, and the entire world noticed. What made this moment historic was not just the event itself but the level of observation it triggered. Space and ground-based telescopes alike were turned toward Betelgeuse, allowing scientists to capture the event in unprecedented detail. This data is still being analyzed today and continues to reshape our understanding of how massive stars behave in their final phases. A sudden and dramatic brightening while the dimming was dramatic, it was not the end of the story. In the years following the great dimming, Betelgeuse began to brighten again, and not just return to its normal levels, but surpass them. In May 2023, the Twitter account BeetleBots, which monitors the star using data from the American Association of Variable Star Observers, reported a 142% increase in brightness. This spike was so significant that Betelgeuse rose from being the 10th brightest star in the night sky to the 7th. Andrea Dupree, an astrophysicist at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, confirmed this remarkable jump highlighting just how volatile and unpredictable Betelgeuse has become. This brightening wasn't an isolated event. Betelgeuse has since been fluctuating rapidly, at times increasing in brightness by over 50% in relatively short periods. These fluctuations are occurring on much shorter cycles than expected. Historically, Betelgeuse follows a brightness cycle of about 400 days, but recent patterns show changes happening in just 130 days. The star's behavior no longer matches its historical patterns. 
It appears to have entered a new, unknown phase, making it even more fascinating to study. What's going on inside Betelgeuse? To understand what's next for Betelgeuse we need to look inside. Like all massive stars, Betelgeuse is a nuclear fusion powerhouse. During its life, it has burned hydrogen into helium, then helium into carbon, and so on, creating heavier and heavier elements in its core. Right now, scientists believe Betelgeuse is fusing helium into carbon, a sign that it is well into its life cycle but not quite at the final stage. Eventually, Betelgeuse will fuse elements all the way to iron. Iron, however, cannot be fused to produce energy. When the core is filled with iron, the star will no longer be able to resist the crushing force of gravity. It will collapse in on itself in a fraction of a second, creating an enormous shockwave that results in a supernova explosion. What follows that explosion is uncertain. Depending on its mass, Betelgeuse may become either a neutron star, an incredibly dense object, or a black hole, from which not even light can escape. When will Betelgeuse explode? Here lies the biggest mystery of all. Despite the recent brightening, the great dimming, and the irregular behavior, scientists still do not know when Betelgeuse will explode. It could happen tomorrow, or it could take 100,000 more years. According to researchers from Harvard and the University of California at Berkeley, it may take another 5 to 10 years just for Betelgeuse to return to its former brightness cycle, if it ever does. In other words, what we are seeing may not be the prelude to a supernova but rather a long, slow transformation into its final state. Peter Gower, an astronomy professor from the University of Portsmouth who specializes in supernova research, emphasizes that we currently lack the tools to predict when a star will explode. Despite major advances in astrophysics, the exact conditions that trigger a supernova remain elusive. So while Betelgeuse is indeed dying, it may not die within our lifetimes. A cultural and scientific icon the intrigue surrounding Betelgeuse isn't new. Indigenous cultures around the world, including Australian Aboriginal communities and ancient Greeks, recorded the star's fluctuations in brightness thousands of years ago. In many ways, Betelgeuse has been humanity's cosmic clock, a red sentinel reminding us of the grandeur and volatility of the universe. Now, in the age of space telescopes, high-resolution spectroscopy, and real-time satellite observation, we are able to study Betelgeuse like never before. Scientists are watching every flicker, every pulse, and every strange outburst to better understand the final stages of a star's life. And while we wait for that fateful explosion, whenever it comes, we continue to learn. The final light show when Betelgeuse eventually does go supernova, it will be a spectacle unmatched in our sky. For weeks or even months, the explosion could be visible even during the day. At night, it may be so bright that it will cast shadows, a surreal reminder of how close and powerful the event is. And for a brief time, it will capture the attention of every person on Earth. It will be the cosmic event of our era, an astronomical moment that will be recorded, analyzed, and remembered for generations. Until then, Betelgeuse remains a ticking time bomb in the sky, massive, mysterious, and mesmerizing. If you enjoyed exploring the strange and stunning behavior of Betelgeuse, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Discovery at 2.0. Stay with us as we uncover more cosmic mysteries and keep an eye on the universe's most fascinating stories. And remember, sometimes, the sky has secrets just waiting to shine.